Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So, all I can think about lately is karate. If you were born in the 80s, maybe even the early 90s, you definitely knew about the Karate Kid. Well, LaRusso is back, along with his pal Johnny. Or, should we call him pals? YouTube Red has clearly delivered us a great series. Which is kind of funny, because we haven't heard anything really about YouTube Red. And now they're on every social media page in existence. Cobra Kai is an amazing sequel to Karate Kid. And when they spoke with Ralph, he actually said, you know, I was very hesitant to do this because I wanted to do it in the right way. I wanted to do it in a fashion that would honor the original. And you cannot honor the original Karate Kid as far as he was concerned. So he put a lot of thought into this. I don't know if he was approached on this or if he approached someone else, but there was a lot of thought put into this, and it shows. Cobra Kai is a drama, and it really follows Johnny for the most part, which is kind of a crazy twist, considering Johnny was made out to be the bad guy, or Johnny was the bad guy, depending on how you look at it. Johnny swept the leg, right? As everyone remembers. Well, this is 34 years later, and Johnny is now kind of a washed up dude trying to get back on his own two feet, and he's got a kid, and LaRusso's got a car dealership and a family, and it just follows the story of Johnny trying to, you know, do what's the right thing, and, you know, what he runs into for issues, as well as following LaRusso. It's very much a drama. Um, but it's a drama with some great action sequences, and it's a well-thought-out drama. So it follows Johnny's student, and it follows LaRusso's story, basically. Um, and Johnny's student in the first episode, you know, he's a washed-up, basically, geek. And Johnny takes in all of his him and opens up his school and takes in all of his friends and teaches them, you know, how to have pride. May not do it in the best fashion, but he has good intentions in what he is doing. And to have a show like this to inspire another wave of martial arts, a martial artists, I should say, is important not only for the martial arts industry, but also because people are going to be physically fit. People are going to want to go out and exercise. And even if that's not your cup of tea, I still suggest checking this series out. This is a fantastic drama series. Even if you do not like martial arts, this is a great drama. They manage to weigh it very well. You know, there's maybe one or two action sequences for a half hour episode. And they've done it in such a good fashion. I started watching on Sunday. I only have two episodes left. That tells you how hooked you can get on this. And my wife, who did not do martial arts, is hooked as well. In fact, last night, we didn't want to go to bed before finishing the series. However, I had to get up early, so I said, no, we should do the adult thing and go to bed. And all day at work, all I could think of was the Karate Kid or Cobra Kai. Long story short, Cobra Kai is a fantastic series. It focuses on Johnny for the most part. It makes you fail for Johnny. It makes you start to think, maybe Johnny's not the bad guy. Maybe LaRusso's not the bad guy. Maybe there was no bad guy. Maybe this was two teens just intertwined in the hairy webs of teen angst. And um, I think, you know, it's showing that that's what it is. Yeah, Johnny doesn't have the best judgment sometimes, but he's really not bad. I have not been hooked on a show like this since probably the first season of Orange is the New Black. And today, they just announced that it's actually getting a second season, which is great. I believe it's in May of 2019 is what they announced. And I am looking so forward to that. If you're not watching Cobra Kai, you should get on that. The first month of YouTube Red is actually free, so you can sign up, watch Cobra Kai, and cancel after you're done. Um, I highly, highly suggest this series, guys. If you're not watching it, you're missing out. If you're a martial artist, it's great. 
If you're into drama, it's great. It's even got a little bit of comedy in there. Um, and they managed to weigh everything. I heard a re uh, interview with um, Ralph on the radio, and you know, the, they were talking about, what is this? Is it a drama? Is it an action flick? Is it a comedy? And his response was, yes. And I think that that statement truly captures the feeling of Cobra Kai. So definitely check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10. If I could, I'd give it an 11 out of 10. Okay, I did. I just gave it an 11 out of 10. That's how good this show is. I'm literally hooked. I just think about it all the time. It's racing in my head. I mean, granted, I'm a martial artist, so it just races in my head generally. But, you know, this is really racing in my head. This show is fantastic. Check it out. On that note, I'm Rich Pollution. Be excellent to each other. Oh, hey, you're still here. So, um, yeah, fun fact since you're still around. If you watch the credits scrolling in the beginning, it says executive producers, and in the executive producer list is Will Smith's name and Jada Pinkett's brother. I wonder if they're trying to redeem themselves over the Karate Kid remake.